So building on from where we were with that core and elbow tie, let me introduce you to one of the uh, most savage submissions you'll ever learn. This is one of the first techniques I was taught in catch wrestling outside of the fundamental structures and basics, and it's called the grovet. Um, dates from the Wigan days. Everyone in the catch wrestling world has a variation on it. This is the one I teach, and this is the one I was shown, okay? So, we go into our core and elbow tie. Notice we're nicely aligned and she's got beautiful posture. So the first problem I have to do is trying to break this, because if I just pull on this, and you can see I'm actually giving it and trying to work it, it's very hard to move that on its own. I can't muscle that down. This is when the footwork becomes so important in everything that we do. So I can just grab it and pull it, and I can muscle that off. I can move myself away from it to get that off. But any time I do a big move like this, I'm opening myself up, and they're gonna come in and counter that if they're savvy. Instead, I'm simply gonna do this. As I'm in my position, one foot comes up, one foot goes back. Now notice what I've done here. You see this gap? It's that big. That's all I need, because watch this one finger, down. Now, you're not gonna do that in a match, obviously, but just illustrates the concepts and principles. So I'm trying to pull this off, and I can't do it. So again, I abandon the tension. If I put tension in, the second I move, she'll read that, there she goes. Now she's eating my space. Good. If I don't tell her when I'm moving, close your eyes, and she's feeding under the arm here. This is where I want her to be, okay? So, from this position, I step up, I step back. As I do, I peel this arm clear. I don't need a big grab. I don't need to yank it down. Step up, step in, move. Now notice she's dropping already and going down. This is where a lot of people make the mistake and they go for the head here and they reach over and notice she's instantly setting up to the back and now I have to fix this with something else. Rather than put myself through that, one, I simply feed her under my arm. So I'm not going over, she's coming under. Notice this little gap I've got here. This knuckle on the thumb is gonna hit her in a jaw. As it does that, I drag this arm down, tie it off, and get ready for that tap. There she goes. Let's turn that around here. That's a nice crack you got going on there. <laughs> Up down and under. Strike that head. Now you see here, this is when I'm bringing it. It's not under my arm. I'm not full on in the chest. Here and turn. So she's almost going this side battering ram. Now believe it or not, on its own here, I can just compress that and get a reaction. To make it super effective, I bring that arm down here, lock off onto my own, and all I do here, if I really don't like her, step in. And that's the grubber.